Okay, so I made it to the one and it is literally so beautiful here, you guys. Hold on, I'm gonna show you this view. Okay, there's the deck. And then there's another pool out there. And then there's the wonderful South Beach. Okay, but all the amenities are nice. But one thing I love about One Hotel is that it literally has the best gym. I think it's the biggest hotel gym in the United States. So I'm definitely gonna hit the gym and I'm gonna take you guys with me. Good morning. I literally look like the face of death and a red lobster, but I'm going to hit the gym this morning and I'm gonna film a leg workout. And I'm just gonna show you around like how I kind of prepared everything because I am still on prep, but I'm traveling. So I'm still trying to stay on plan as much as I can. And it's actually a lot easier than I thought. So I'm gonna show you guys what I have lying around. So over here, oh my God, the monster. That's just my gym bag, but I planned my outfit the night before. It's just sitting there. And then in my suitcase, I just have my supplements. So I packed my creatine, my protein. I had like a little bag of protein and then I just scooped it out from the big container to have enough for the trip. And then I have my pre-workout here. And then last night, I just scooped it out. And then I have my shaker cup. So I just have one scoop of creatine and a little bit of pre-workout in there. And then, oh my God, this is so funny. And then I brought my tape measure with me and I have a little note card with all my weights for the week because I had to check in with my coach this morning. So hopefully he says I look snatched so I don't have to drop my calories. Okay, so I'm in the bathroom getting ready, and I just thought, I'm sorry, it's so early. I'm in the bathroom getting ready, and I just thought I would take you guys like through what I do for as far as makeup in the gym. So I'm never really shy about wearing makeup. Like if I have makeup on that day, I'm not going to take it off for the gym. But if I already don't have anything on, I like to just fill in my eyebrows, put on a little eyeliner, and then put on my mascara, and then I'm good to go. And then I have my straightener here as well because I'm just gonna do some touch-ups because I don't wanna look gross. Like, I feel like everyone here in Miami is so skinny and perfect. So I'm really gonna try and meet the standard a little bit and look good. Okay, you guys, so here's my outfit. My shoes are my Nikes that I wear literally every single day to the gym. And then my shorts are Lululemon. My top is Tala, shout out Grace Beverly. And that's pretty much it for my getting ready process. And now I'm going to have one of my Omega bars. I talked about these in my first full day of eating and they're basically just bars made out of whey protein. So they're really good and really friendly with the macros. So, I'm gonna down this, take my pre-workout that I showed you before, and then I'm gonna head down to Anatomy, my favorite gym in the world, for a leg day. Hello. So I begin leg day with stretching, of course, and I find that I have really tight hips. So I like to begin each leg day with side lunges just to open those up and prevent any discomfort in future movements, especially when I'm squatting. So I'll do about 10 to 15 of these on each leg, and then I move into 10 little jumps on each leg as well. And I'll repeat this process for three sets. Also, I like to focus on movements that stretch out my lower back and get blood flowing there, which is why this reaching forward and then down position is really helpful for me. Reaching up, forward, and then down is one rep, so I'll typically complete three sets of 15 of these. And then moving forward with back stretches, I always stretch out my back and then get into a downward dog position. This just lengthens the spine and it really helps to fire up my hamstrings. And after this, my body feels ready for heavy movement. For the first exercise, I'm gonna grab a 45 pound barbell and a box and I begin to do my step ups. So I recently began starting my workouts with this movement because in my opinion, it's just a great way to further warm up your body with super low risk of injury or discomfort to the back. You activate your glutes so much and if you try this, I really urge you to focus on using your heel to push off the box and get your other foot up. Also, notice how I keep my chest up and confident the entire time. 
So I'm gonna do three sets of 15 reps of this on each leg, and I promise you guys, this exercise always toasts me. Moving on, so in all of my leg days, I will either squat or deadlift. And right now, since growing my hamstrings and glutes is my biggest priority, I'm going to load up the barbell for some stiff-legged deadlifts. I load the bar on my safeties, walk it back, and begin the movement. And with this lift, it's super important that you keep your back straight and spine neutral the entire time. Also, you should really focus on pushing your hips and booty backwards so you can focus on getting a good stretch in the back of your legs. I also prefer to keep my barbell hovering over the floor instead of letting it drop because I find it makes the movement a bit more challenging. And I will complete four sets of 12 of these. Next, we got a little superset action going on. So I'm going to do some landmine sumo squats into stiff-legged deadlifts with a kettlebell. So for my sumo squats, you see here that I keep my feet at a wide stance with my toes pointed out. And I keep my weight lower because on this movement especially, I really want to focus on squeezing my hamstrings, glutes, just all of my lower body while I'm doing this and keeping tight, high tension all throughout. Then I'll mosey on over to my big blue kettlebell and I'll complete the same movement as before just with a lighter weight. So I'm going to do 12 sumo squats into 10 deadlifts and I'll repeat this for 3 sets. And keep your rest time short here. The weight is lighter, so there's no excuse not to prioritize your form and short rest times. At this point, I'm pretty exhausted, but I only have a couple more exercises to do, so we good. So here I'm gonna do some basic leg press and I keep my feet wide with toes pointed outward. So again, I can focus on just targeting the hamstrings and glutes. Here, I'm gonna bang out three sets of 15. And today I didn't do it, but on days that you're feeling especially strong, you can add like five little half reps onto the end of each set. So you do 15 full reps and then five halfway to really get a good burn going. Now, these are my absolute favorite hamstring exercise. So I know you have all probably seen the back extension machine, but I love to perform this exercise using only one leg to get me up. So you put one leg under the pad and the other on top so only one is stabilized. Then you perform the back extensions like normal and focus on squeezing your glutes here. I love to focus on my hamstrings while going, while going down and my glutes at the top. So try to go nice and slow on the descent and I promise you, you are going to feel this exercise. Do three sets of 15 on each leg and congratulations, you have finished leg day. Okay, I forgot to film after the workout, but I just got breakfast. I just got a little smoked salmon and egg and some vegetables on the side. And now I'm sipping on my black iced coffee and I'm going to go to the boardwalk and get my steps because in my bikini prep, I do eat a lot, but I am staying active all day long. I literally like am walking nonstop. So that's the last thing I have to do for today. And then that'll be it for exercise. So thank you and I'll see you guys next time.